Welcome again to your own YouTube channel, Ask Your Gynecologist. I am Dr. Sonal Parihar and today, today's topic is basically chosen by myself. I have put this topic forward because after talking to you daily, I go live, you know that, I go live on my channel every day and after actually discussing your reports on my DocWise app, on the different channels that I have given you, I realize that there is a lot of confusion between uh, the understanding of IgG and IgM. So these are the antibodies which develop in your body and it is not your fault that you are getting confused. It is because probably the lab reports come that way. They sometimes just highlight a normal report to be abnormal. They just make it bold in bold letters that you are positive for rubella, you are positive for tuberculosis. Oh my God. And your doctor starts treating you which I feel that is not required. Okay. So I made this short video just for you to understand in non-medical terms that what is IgM and what is IgG and when you actually need to have treatment, when you actually need to have vaccination. Okay, so before I start with the topic, I would just tell you that DocWise app is working very well. Uh, I'm getting connected to so many patients in India, outside India. I can just cannot call people who are uh, sitting outside India because the phone numbers registered on this app are always at the Indian numbers. But I can always chat with you. I can exchange the reports. You can send me the report. I can send you the prescription. You can send me voice message. I can send you voice message. So it's an excellent app and it is valid for two days or seven days. It's up to you. Okay, then my other portals are Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I give them to you so that in case you want to follow me or in case you want to write up a medical question which you are not able to uh, like show up on YouTube, then you can always put the question there. But generally these channels, these portals are managed by my secretary. So try to put the questions on YouTube because if not today, then tomorrow it will definitely be in front of me. Sometimes, it's, sometimes it gets missed. Um, it, I don't do it purposely, but it just gets missed sometimes. So uh, make it a point that if you are writing a question on the YouTube and I'm not answering it, then repeat the question again. It will definitely be answered, right? Uh, if you have any problem with the DocWise app, these are the technical numbers. You can call them, you can WhatsApp them. Then uh, you can just uh, download this application on your mobile Play Store and put my pin C2TXG and you can get connected with me, right? Um, what else? If you want to visit me in the hospital, then this is the hospital's address, the landline number and the secretary's number. To call the secretary, the lines are open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Please do not call her after 8, 8 o'clock. Uh, so now coming back to the topic, IgG and IgM. Now IgG is an immunoglobulin, right? Ig is an immunoglobulin. It can be in the form of M, G, E, there are many. So IgM is M stands for mega. Mega means a big antibody, right? Now, this is an antibody which gets produced in the body the first time the body gets infected with some virus, some bacteria or some fungus. Now, it depends what the antigen is. So, the first antibody that the body produces to fight against that antigen is IgM. Why it is big? Because it has multiple sites as you can see in the program. There are multiple sites on which the antigen gets uh, implanted and then the antibody kind of encircles it and kills it. Right? So that is why the IgM antibody is supposed to be the biggest antibody and it is produced as soon as you get infected. So if you have IgM positive in your blood report, that means you are currently getting infected with the virus or the bacteria or the fungus, the antigen is there and you need treatment in the form of antibodies. Okay. Now, because this antibody is big enough, it cannot, um, it cannot cross the barriers like blood brain barrier. It cannot cross the placental barrier. So this antibody only stays inside the body and it is found only in two fluids, blood and lymph. Okay. It cannot cross the tissue barrier. So it is not found in the tissues. It cannot go in the baby through the placenta. It cannot cross the brain, blood brain barrier. Right. So these are the antibodies which are produced initially when you get infected and you need treatment if they are positive. Now, as the time goes by, this antibody gets converted into a smaller antibody which is called IgG. Now, IgG is the antibody which denotes, which tells that your body is immune towards a certain infection. It is a small antibody. It is six times smaller than IgM. That is why it is able to cross all the barriers. It can enter the tissues. It is found in the baby as well. Through the mother, through the placenta, the mother's antibodies get transferred into the baby. Then it crosses the blood-brain barrier. So it is found everywhere in the body and it stays in the body for a long time. So basically, if your IgG is positive, that means that you have been infected in the past with that particular antigen, right? For example, rubella. In your rubella report, if it comes back that IgG is positive and your lab report is coming back, bold, bold, IgG positive, you have rubella. No. Please do not jump into conclusions. Even if your doctor tells you that your rubella positive, no. Fight with the doctor. 
tell her or tell him that no, my IgG is positive means I am immune to that particular infection. I have been infected in the past. Currently, I am not having the infection. The antigen is killed by IgM. So the IgM is low, it is negative, but IgG is positive. In case both are positive, then you need treatment. That means the infection is still there because the IgM is still getting produced and some of it is getting converted into IgG. It is very rare to find both positive, but if both are positive, then you just concentrate on IgM. Because if that's positive, that means the antigen is still there. You need treatment. If IgM is negative and IgG is positive, that means your body has already produced immunity towards that infection. You do not need any treatment for, uh, in the form of antibodies. And in fact, you do not need vaccination as well. Because your body has produced internal antibodies to fight that infection. So for example, if you have rubella IgG positive, that means you do not need a rubella vaccine as well. Because what the vaccine is doing, it is giving you external immunoglobulins. But your body has already produced some immunoglobulins because the body has a memory. So with that memory, the body has already produced antibodies and immunity towards that, uh, towards that virus. So you do not need any vaccination for that. In case IgG is low, there are certain conditions in which the immunity of the patient goes low. I have already discussed many a times why the immunity goes low because of multiple diseases. So if IgG of your body is low, your body is not getting, is not producing enough immunoglobulins or your IgM is not getting converted into IgG, then you are prone to different infections in the form of say sore throat, respiratory infections, intestinal infections, brain infections, meningitis or all that, right? So basically you need to have good immunity. IgG positive means you are strong, you are healthy and your body is immune to fight the infections. IgM positive means the current infection is going on and you need treatment, okay? So hopefully this video will help you in interpreting your reports and cross-questioning the lab people or the practitioner who is giving you the medicines, right? So if you have any more confusion, you can always um, send me the reports on Dogwise app or you can just put a question on the YouTube and I go live every day. As I said, I do try and answer all the questions every day. Okay, so take care, keep sending me the questions and thank you for liking and subscribing my channel. Because of you all, the channel has really grown very well. It is going very well and really growing uh, at a very fast speed, right? Okay, so take care.